stiff. William irritates Harry with powerful declaration, I'm enjoying a new version of Christmas. Prince William spilled the beans about the Christmas celebrations for his family and how the celebrations are more about uniting with relatives. Speaking on a hospital radio show as president of Cancer Hospital the Royal Marsden, the Duke of Cambridge laid bare his plans for the festive season. He answered questions from young patients and told them of his newfound love of Christmas after having his own children. Getting together for Christmas Day, he said, was always lovely because we're quite spread out doing our own things all the time during the year and so we get very few moments to actually come together. When I see my children meet up with my cousin's children, they will have a wonderful time playing together. It's very special. So I look forward to that a lot. And obviously Christmas is a new dynamic once you have children, suddenly it's a whole different ball game of noise and excitement. So now I'm enjoying a new version of Christmas in my life. Meanwhile, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle issue thinly veiled swipe to royals with Hollywood Christmas plans. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have rejected yet another royal Christmas invitation in favor of having a Hollywood Christmas bash alongside pals that truly have been by their side through thick and thin this year. News of this plan has been brought forward by a royal source close to a K. magazine and according to their findings, the couple is more fixated on wanting to nest and make some home-cooked meals during the holiday season. The source also revealed that there is a large chance that Harry, 37, and Meghan, 40 will decide to entertain a number of Hollywood hotshots alongside Doria Rigland. The Sussex's Christmas guest list reportedly includes stars like Catherine McPhee and David Foster. The insider also went on to say, they'll have some get-togethers with friends and colleagues who've been by their side through thick and thin this year. Even though Prince Harry intends to send messages and gifts to a few loved ones in England, there is still no place he'd rather buy that with Meghan and his two kids Archie, two and Lilibet, six months. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex faced an upsetting ordeal at their California home last Christmas. While the Sussexes will likely reduce their chances of catching the virus by avoiding air travel, their decision to stay local isn't without risk. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's house was invaded twice by the same suspect over Christmas last year, prompting major security concerns for the couple and their young kids. Nicholas Brooks, 37, entered the property on December 24, after driving over 2,000 miles across the country from Ohio. Despite receiving a warning from police, he returned to the house on December 26, only to be arrested and charged with one count of misdemeanor trespassing. The biggest concern was that while we were in Canada, in someone else's house, and then I got told at short notice that security was going to be removed, he said during the explosive CBS interview in March 2021. So suddenly it dawned on me, hang on a second, the borders could be closed, we're going to have our security removed, who knows how long lockdown is going to be. The world knows where we are. It's not safe. It's not secure. In the UK, as the surge in the Omicron variant sweeps across Britain, the Queen was forced to cancel her annual festive lunch. Sharing details about the Cambridge family home at Anmer, Norfolk, the Duke admitted he had never heard of the modern favourite game The Elf on the Shelf. He said, we love Monopoly and Risk. Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis have previously spent Christmas with Isla and Savannah Phillips, the daughters of the Duke's cousin Peter Phillips. They also spend time with the children of Zara and Mike Tyndall. A young patient asked what Prince William would do if he were in charge of Christmas for a day, to which he replied that he would bring everyone together to have a big party. He that he would 